What's up? It's Three Pound Fishing for Grizzly Jig TV, and today we're going to use the new Generation 2 Helix to find new spots on Lake of Egypt and fish for some new crappie that we haven't explored. We're actually going to explore a new neck of the lake that we've not fished before and see if we can find some crappie, some brush piles using this using this new Generation 2 Helix, and uh, we're going to see some of the differences between the two units. So, hey, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. All right. So we're going to venture into a cove that we have not been into on Lake of Egypt and we're going to devote the next three hours out here on the lake to just trying to find new structure within that cove, finding some crappie. So let's get to it. Now today I will be fishing with a variety of things. I will be fishing with minnows. I've only got a limited amount, maybe 15 left, uh, but I will be then fishing with jigs of course. But I also want to test the theory that maybe we're rushing up onto the pile too fast, even though the fish may be 10, 12 feet down. Um, can we throw a float at it before we actually get up on top of it and actually vertical jig it? So we're going to be doing a little bit of that and I think we're going to start off by doing that right away. So beautiful sun, <laughs> sunrise here. Uh, thanks for watching. Grizzly Jig TV, fantastic place, fantastic site. Um, if you haven't been to Grizzly Jig, you need to get over there. And that's just fantastic right there. So one of the things that I've definitely done since I got this new Generation 2 unit is that I've been able to speed up in regards to how fast I'm scanning. So right now I've got my chart set up at five miles an hour and I am sitting around five miles an hour when I do my side imaging. So, and the image is coming out really clear. I'll show you that here shortly. Both units are fantastic. I don't want to take anything away from Generation 1 because I still think it's a fantastic unit, but Generation 2, that transducer definitely brings it to another level. Now the price point is going to be much higher. You're looking at $1,700, I believe, for this unit. Unit. Eh, what is $1,700? Yeah, $1,700 for this 10, number 10 Helix. But I mean, the clarity is pretty amazing. And what we're doing right now is we are looking for new fish. So now my settings are roughly the same. I'm usually going to keep my sensitivity, my contrast up to about 10. That doesn't change. But what does change is that my range on left and right has moved out to 80. I feel comfortable with 80. Now some people might run 100 and that's fine, but I really feel like 80 is the is the magic number at least with this unit with the detail that this unit's giving off. I think that's a that's a good pathway through the water. We're going to be trolling around these edges here right now. Uh, 160 foot swath on this lake looking for interesting looking for fish anything that stands out so I'm gonna turn it over here alright so there's fish right there okay so I don't know what they're adhering to what they're sitting on but there's definitely fish right there so we're gonna mark that okay and then we're also gonna now so you can see them right there and that's their shadows so the black marks are the shadows the white guys are their actual is the, the actual fish and they're hugged pretty close to the ground because their shadow is not cast very far so looks like there's some sporadic fish over here too but we're gonna go ahead and find that point on the mark on the map I'm sorry so our point is right there okay that we just created and we're gonna circle back around and we're gonna get another view of it we might actually just drop right down on top of it because we're in 17 foot of water and I do believe they're close to the ground well this is a first <laughs> Marty. <laughs> You don't see that every day. <laughs> Again, folks, just, you know, new technology, take advantage of it if you can. I still think the Generation 1 Helixes are awesome pictures. If you can do it, take advantage of those new technologies, those new transducers that, that Hummingbird's got. It's amazing what they can do, the Generation 2s. That's a good fish. Come here, baby. We just found a pile of them and we just ran over them and I circled back around just like I did that previous pile and boom, a lot of good eaters right here, I bet you. It's stacked. That's good fish right there, folks. Thanks for joining me today. There's a big pile though. Big, a lot of fish down there kind of makes it cool, makes it interesting, makes crappie fishing fun when you can 
find new piles, new, new action. Please subscribe. Don't forget, guided trips this year. This fall, number three, poundfishing at gmail.com.